Conduct that's negligent per se is conduct that's deemed negligent as a matter of law. In Thomas v. McDonald, we explore whether the defendant's violation of a statute constitutes negligence per se. As William McDonald was driving his employer's truck up a hill one evening, the truck stalled. The truck didn't have lights or any other warning devices to alert other motorists in the event of a breakdown. Sam McCormick's vehicle collided with the truck. He sued McDonald and his employer for negligence. McCormick subsequently passed away due to unrelated medical issues. Mary Thomas, the administratrix of McCormick's estate, was substituted as party plaintiff. The evidence deduced at trial indicated that it was getting dark at the time of the incident. However, Thomas didn't introduce any evidence to establish when the sun went down that day. Mississippi Code Section 63771 provides that whenever a truck is stopped on a highway and cannot be immediately removed, the driver must place flares, reflectors, or other signals around the vehicle. Because McDonald failed to place warning signals around the truck, Thomas asked the court to instruct the jury that McDonald was negligent as a matter of law. The court refused. Mississippi Code Section 63769 provides that no one may operate a truck on a highway from 30 minutes after sunset until 30 minutes before sunrise unless the truck is equipped with certain warning devices. Because the truck wasn't equipped with any warning devices, Thomas requested that the trial court instruct the jury that McDonald was negligent as a matter of law. The court again refused. The jury found in favor of McDonald. Thomas appealed to the Mississippi Supreme Court. She argued that the trial court erred in refusing to give her negligence per se jury instructions based on McDonald's alleged violations of the two Mississippi statutes.